Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful indicate that Hope Logan and John Finn Finnegan are both harboring secrets that will eventually cause problems. To begin with, when Finn later meets up with Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messins would, he doesn't always bring up their brief interactions. The good doctor most definitely kept Hope's backstage encounter, in which she openly confessed to having a crush on him, from Steffi. Hope was shut down by Finn, who sensed that her actions were motivated more by her previous argument with Steffi than anything else. In light of this, it is understandable why Finn believed it would be best to ignore everything and prevent things from getting worse. Hope does, however, have some secrets of her own, such as the fact that she has been having fantasies about having a sexual relationship with Steffi's husband. Hope seems to be unaware of the fact that her feelings are on a completely different plane. Jacqueline Messins Wood said that for being so incredibly brilliant, Finn can occasionally be stupid in an interview with SOD. For the most part, Steffi agrees with Finn's assessment of Sheila Sharp. It seems to apply here with Hope as well, since Hope's crush might develop into something far more than Finn anticipates. While Wood refrained from giving away too much about the future course of events, she did urge her followers to be tuned and make a foreboding forecast. Wood stated that Steffi believes Hope is attempting to control her marriage in regards to Shyla, and that Hope is crazy for believing Shyla is capable of changing. However, I don't think Steffi is aware that Hope frequently has fantasies about Finn. When Steffi finds out, she had better stay far, far away. Teast was Jacqueline Masson's wood. It's likely that Finn will find himself embroiled in the intense competition between Steffi and Hope in the upcoming B and B episodes. The good doctor certainly didn't tell Steffi about his backstage interaction with Hope, who blatantly flirted with him and admitted she had a crush. Finn shut Hope down and got the feeling Hope's actions were more about her earlier tiff with Steffi than anything else. With that in mind, it's easy to see why Finn thought it was best to sweep everything under the rug and avoid making matters worse. However, Hope is keeping some secrets of her own, like the fact she's been fantasizing about getting passionate with Steffi's husband. Hope's feelings are at a whole different level that Finn seemingly has no idea about. In an interview with SOD, Jacqueline Massens Wood reflected on how, for being so damn smart, Finn can sometimes be clueless. Steffi certainly feels that way when it comes to Finn's view of Sheila Sharp most days. It seems to apply in this situation with Hope as well since her crush could snowball into a far bigger deal than Finn expects. Although Wood didn't want to divulge too much about how things would play out from here, she encouraged fans to tune in and offered an ominous prediction. Wood acknowledged that Steffi thinks Hope's trying to manipulate her marriage when it comes to Shyla and that Hope's insane for thinking Shyla could ever change. But I don't think Steffi has any clue that Hope is regularly fantasizing about Finn. When that truth is revealed to Steffi, Hope better be far, far away. Jacqueline Massens would teased. You can bet Steffi and Hope's rivalry will erupt like never before in the coming B&B &B episodes, so Finn could get caught in the middle of it all. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Steffi will face some scandalous news when it comes to Hope lusting after Finn, so stay tuned for updates on all the action. Keep checking back for updates on all the action as the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Steffi will be confronted with some shocking information regarding Hope's intense feelings for Finn. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers on Wednesday, July 24, Brooke Logan informed Hope Logan that she would once again be the face of Brooke's bedroom, and Hope was overjoyed for her mother. Although Brooke knew Steffi Forrester wouldn't be thrilled about all of this, she did say that Rich Forrester wanted her to attend the next Global Fashion Summit. Steffi did, in fact, 
object to Brooks serving as the line spokesman in the CEO's office. Steffi believed Ridge was making a grave error because this seemed more like a flashback than a relaunch. Steffi said that Ridge wasn't trying to broaden the demography, but rather was doing this for Brooke. After Steffi revealed that Brooke had broken their family up, Ridge claimed that he had left Taylor Hayes, Krista Allen, and that if Steffi wanted to be angry with someone, she should be angry with him. But Ridge indicated that the Forrester-Logan feud was over and hoped they could get over all of their animosity. Katie Logan, Heather Tom, resisted Poppy Nozawa at Bill Spencer's house because there was something about the paternity test that didn't line up. Before leaving Poppy Durant on her own, Katie promised again and again that she would find answers. When Luna Nozawa got home, Poppy was yelling at herself, so she wondered what the problem was. Although Poppy acknowledged that she had another encounter with the critical Katie, she advised Luna not to be concerned. Poppy promised to do all it required to ensure that Luna continued to enjoy her new life with Bill. Bill visited Lee Finnegan's, Naomi Matsuda, office at the hospital to express his gratitude for helping to ensure the paternity test was conducted correctly. Lai claimed that Bill was the ideal father her niece could have. Bill maintained that since Poppy and Luna were now family, Lai had to be too. Lee expressed how much that meant to her and appeared moved. Bill acknowledged that Lee and Poppy had had problems in the past, but he also said he would really appreciate it if the sisters could get along. He had a favor to ask. Bill expressed his willingness to assist in resolving Poppy and Lee's disagreements if there was anything he could do. He complimented Lee for helping Bill have a daughter and added that Lai was now part of the Spencer family. Lee started crying as she thought about how much of a wonderful father Bill was to Luna and how her marriage to Jack Finnegan had failed. Bill vowed not to disappoint Lee and reaffirmed that she was mostly responsible for his daughter's birth. Lee pointed out that it was the least she could do to thank Bill for saving her life. After Bill departed, Katie went to see Lee next and admitted to having a bad encounter with Poppy once more. Katie revealed that Lai had conducted Bill and Luna's paternity test in the hopes that Lee could assist her. After the conclusion of Wednesday's B&B program, Katie questioned Lee about the possibility that the test might have been inaccurate. Follow along for updates on the mayhem as we anticipate Poppy will battle valiantly to maintain her happy life with Bill and Luna. Brooke mentioned that Rich Forrester wanted her to be part of the upcoming Global Fashion Summit, but she knew Steffi Forrester wasn't going to be excited about any of this. In the CEO office, Steffi indeed objected to Brooke being the spokesperson for the line. In Steffi's opinion, this was more of a flashback than a relaunch so she felt Ridge was making a huge mistake. Steffi accused Ridge of doing this for Brooke instead of as a move to expand the demographic. Once Steffi talked about Brooke tearing their family apart, Ridge said he left Taylor Hayes, Krista Allen, and that Steffi should be mad at him if she wanted to be mad at somebody. However, Ridge hoped they could move beyond all the resentment and suggested that the Forrester-Logan feud was in the past. At Bill Spencer's place, Katie Logan, Heather Tom, stood her ground with Poppy Nozawa about something not adding up regarding the paternity test. Katie repeatedly vowed to get answers before taking off and leaving Poppy to fume alone. Luna Nozawa came home to find Poppy ranting to herself, so she wondered what was wrong. Poppy admitted to having another run-in with judgmental Katie, but she urged Luna not to worry about it. Keep an eye out for all the surprising news that lies ahead because according to spoilers for The Bold and The Beautiful, Katie won't stop until she solves all the puzzles surrounding Poppy's past. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed The Bold and The Beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.